a 2011 Audi A4 replacing a blower motor. That one's stuck. It's pretty uh, pretty common on these. Um, I went on bought a used one uh, for 20 bucks. You get a new one. I prefer you get a new one. So you don't have to do the job again. But let's begin. So open the glove box. Um, <clears throat> you get yourself get yourself a pair of these. Uh, you can probably get them at Walmart. Uh, Radio Shack, they still exist uh, online. You could always use a flat screwdriver, one of the small ones for for um, eyeglasses. Um, just put these inside of here. You can see actually inside of here, these little tabs. You can see it about glaring off the light. Basically, uh, push that tab away from, from the plastic that was inside. Place that in there. Place that in there. Pry that out. There's no lights here. Disconnect this. This is for your um for your uh what is it? Media. So if you want to connect the Bluetooth device or iPad now the only reason why I'm removing this is because there's a screw up inside of here. It's about eight mil. Uh, it's gonna be on there, on there, on there, on the back right there. Uh, there's none here. Uh, you'll be removing one down here and one on this side right here. They're all eight millimeters. I apologize, there is, you have to remove the screw in here. I haven't replaced one of these in a while, so I forgot. And well, here's the rat's nest. <clears throat> this is uh, one cause to a bunch of electrical issues that we were having. All right. Just make sure there's nothing in here. this out. Now you're going to be disconnecting all your connectors. Just pull on this one. Just pop out pretty pretty easy. Just get this out of here. I'm not sure what the hell is in here, but it's whatever. And pry this back. Take this off. This is 
is your valet. <clears throat> now, this is another thing. You have to be careful when, if you press this button and the light is illuminated, um, your trunk will not open and you'll be chasing and chasing, chasing, trying to figure out why it's not opening. Uh, basically, this button sometimes accidentally it's been, you know, it's been pressed and um, that could happen. It's happened to me in the future. I've been through hell and back trying to figure out the problem. Um, let's just get this off. Actually, you know what? You don't even have to unplug that. I didn't realize there was a plug right here so you can plug this main harness. Look at that. It's convenient. I guess I'm learning with you guys. Let's pry that out. Let's do the side. And this is where the blower motor is located, right here. Just pull this out, make sure it's not burnt, it's in good condition, make sure none of your wires are uh, chewed up. If you did have a rodent in here, just kind of take a glance, look at it. All right, so now we're back. You'll need a, you can, you don't have to uh, remove the resistor. I purchased the blower motor with the resistor, used one. You're going to need a 5.5 millimeter. Just unbolt it. Let's pry it out. I mean, it's probably shot. Maybe not. Um, just to do the fact that this motor is no good. Grab yourself, uh, what is this, a T25. You don't really have to do this, but for the sake of the video, let's pull this out. It's just the duct for the feet. Let's press this side. Now, yeah. now usually there's a screw right here, which it doesn't have. Uh, it'd be right here in this, this little tab. It's supposed to be a screw. I guess this has been replaced before. Um, Let's see if we need one, but I recommend you do put one in. And then, shut this one off. Grab this blower motor, just twist it, and it comes right out. Basically, turn it this way, and it pops out of these clips, these retainers. Let's see these bad boys. Seized up, pretty good. Are we bearing failure? Who knows? And uh, make sure you have nothing inside of here. Could have potentially caused the other one to fail as well. Looks all good. Grab your new used one. Let's take this off just to make it easier. Now oh, this harness should sit like this. Let's put it back in. Let's grab it. Dang. There you go, just like that. Put, put your new used resistor in. <coughs> it's just like that. I recommend you testing it, testing it out before you uh, put everything back together. Just to make sure that that it does uh, work the way it should. Put it on. Right, press the reset button. Oh, it works. Awesome. <laughs> 